Hey guys, it's me Skelly here. Today I just wanted to show you how to make a kind of typing effect in Shotcut. So this effect will basically be as if it's a video of someone typing in something live. So it'll have delays between when characters appear on screen and you know, it'll be look it'll be as if someone's typing. So what you want to do firstly is make a new make a new video track. You can do this by either pressing Ctrl and I on your keyboard or by pressing the hamburger menu, track operations, and then insert track. This will make a new video track here. You want to make sure the new video track you've just made is highlighted. You can just make that by, you can just do that by clicking here where it says, you know, all the options for the track. And now once you're in there, what you want to do is go to open other, color, and then if it already says transparent here, then you can just press OK. If it does not, then what you want to do is just select whatever random color. Make sure this is at zero. And if it still says that, then just do it again, zero, it's buggy because shortcut is buggy. Just make sure it says transparent. Once it says transparent, press OK. Your preview will go black, and then once you've done that, just click and drag this in to the top track that you've just made. Now once you're here, you can stretch out the video by hovering the mouse over the little clip that you've made, and clicking and dragging outwards, as I'll do here. There you go. Now, the transparent clip here is a bit bigger and it will last a bit longer. So once you've made the new clip, transparent clip, what you want to do is add the filter, go to filters. If this isn't here, then check up here. There's a filters button up here and press the add a filter button, the little plus button, and then search for text. For this demonstration, I'll just be using the simple text filter. It's easy to use, everyone should know how it works. As you can see here, I have text overlay that only exists in this transparent clip. If I were to make this layer invisible, then the text would go away, as you can see. So, what we're going to do is, firstly, make sure that the horizontal fit is on the left. Well, you can do it in the center if you like, but for the best results, I like to put it on the left. The second thing you want to do is make sure that this checkbox is ticked. And what this will do is it will make it so the text is the exact same size regardless. Oh, let's see. Is that going to work? It doesn't seem to be. Okay. We're just going to set the font size there. There you go. So once you've set a font size, you can set it, I don't know, let's just make it 150. There we go. This will make it so regardless of how big the text box is, unless it's smaller than it should be, it'll always stay the same size. What you want to do now is make your first cut. So. I'm going to start it typing here. Now, once you've cut the little transparent clip up, you'll want to click on the large chunk that you have remaining here on the right side and then add your first character. So let's make it say S and make it look nice. Put it somewhere like there. This is, you can put whatever text you want. This is just a demonstration. To make things a bit easier, if you want, you can zoom in the timeline by using this slider tool here. This will make it easier to go frame by frame. Once you have the first character in, then you can move a couple frames across and cut again. You can cut again by using the S key or using this here, which will split the clip. And once you've split it again, add your second character. 
if you want a realistic typing effect, then you can make the cuts at different intervals, but at different lengths. So as you can see here, this cut here is a little bit bigger than this cut. So once you've cut again, just add your third character and so on. So I'll make another cut, add my fourth character, another cut, add my fifth character and so on. Just make lots of cuts and add your character. So as you can see, jump into it guys. My name is Poppy Hart. It's like me typing it. So I can then add a space there and then, you know, let's change that. I don't know. P. Cause I don't know what else to put that starts with I. And then just cut again, add lots of cut, cuts, there you go. So now once you've made it how you like, then that's it, you've just finished the effect. So as you can see here, if I, let me mute this, cause it's annoying, Oi, mute. There we go. As you can see, it's like me typing it in. Now, if you want the text to just end abruptly, then you can just leave it like that and it will stop abruptly. An alternate method is once you've configured where you want it to stop. So if I want it to stop there or there, I'll just make it stop here for the demonstration. What you can do is hover your mouse over the top right corner of the clip and you'll see a little circle up here. Click and drag that circle outwards and you'll see a wedge starts up here. This wedge is a fade out. So if I make it fade out to there, as you can see by that little number there, the, f the fade out will last for 20 frames. Now this is important. When you make the fade out filter, you'll see it just kind of fades into black, which you don't really want. Ensure you have checked this little checkbox here that says adjust opacity instead of fade with black. Check that. And as you can see, once the effect is done, it'll just fade out nice and smoothly instead of fading to black, which we don't really want. So, um, yeah, that's it. And that's how you make a typewriter effect. And yeah, if you found this video helpful, then a subscribe would be very well appreciated. And yeah, bye.